OpenAI just dropped a massive bombshell that can wipe out all the animators and motion designers from around this planet. Or can it? Let's find it out. Well yes, I'm talking about Sora, a generative AI model that can generate videos from text prompts. We finally reached that stage. So it was just the day after the Valentine's Day, I was scrolling through X and Sam Altman sent shockwaves through the animation and videography industry with this single tweet. I ignored it at first but the very next day another post popped up in my feed and then another one and another one and it really hooked me in and I had to check it out. So I visited OpenAI's official website to check out Sora and what I saw really blew my mind. But when you think of an animation tool, you assume there would be a timeline, layers, keyframes and a motion graph editor. But this time, nothing. Just a chatbot where you describe your idea and you will get a 1 minute long animation, not a loop animation, but has some logical translations. This is what Sora can do. So this is a 1 minute long animation clip created by Sora with this single line prompt. Now here is another example where they have simulated the life of a robot in a cyberpunk settings. And in another example, Sora has created a full-fledged 3D animated scene with a kangaroo dancing in a disco. Now you may say the quality is not up to the mark, the motion seems sporty and a bit glitchy. For this kangaroo animated scene, the foot of the kangaroo is literally sliding on the ground. But Think of the animation quality that you used to make in the early days of your animation career. If I talk about me then I would say it is still better than what I used to animate that time. And that would have taken like at least a week for me to complete any of the single projects. And Sora is not just limited to animation, it can pull off high quality videos from text prompts. Let me show you some examples. Here is a footage of a cat walking through a dense forest that Sora created with this prompt. And you can hardly find any mistakes in this video. If you see it for the first time, I bet you cannot recognize if it was an AI creation or a shot with an expensive camera and later on, a professional video editor has done some color grading to give a nice look and feel. And here is another example of some ancient mammoths walking together. If you ignore the small glitches here and there, it's still usable. And this is another example of a movie trailer featuring the adventure of a 30 year old spaceman created with this AI model. And if you think video editing is something AI cannot do well till now, then hold your horses because Sora has already surpassed your imagination. So this is the clip generated by this AI model where a drone is roaming around in an ancient architecture. And in another clip where a butterfly is roaming around underwater. And Sora merged these two clips together in this single clip with a seamless transition. And it has not only transformed the drone into a butterfly, it has also added some special effects to seamlessly transition from ancient architecture background to the underwater environment. Here is another example of a drone shot of a town in California Gold Rush. In another example, we have the New York City submerged in Atlantis. And these two clips are merged together to add a seamless transition. Now look at the scene, it starts with a town view and slowly and steadily transitions into an underwater environment. If you would have seen it on your Facebook or Instagram feed, you would have definitely thought that it was created by some professional CGI artist. And remember, this is the version 1 of this technology. Like any other AI tools, it will get better and better with time. Whew. It's really exciting and scary at the same time, how fast technology is evolving. So what should be your takeaway from this? Is AI completely going to replace you? Will we end up doing nothing and AI runs everything? Will it make human workforce completely obsolete? Hold on, hold on for a second. It may sound a little cliche but rather than focusing on how to use the tools, you should focus on what exactly you want to create. For example, After Effects can be used to create animation and motion design and it can also be used for video editing or VFX. So rather than focusing on developing this skill set, if you just focus on how to use this tool, then that's a problem and your job might be at risk. But if you pick a skill then your primary focus should be on learning the fundamentals. Let's say if you want to learn animation, then your focus should be on learning the 12 principles of animation. By learning I don't mean just reading it out and memorizing it, but knowing how to use it in your animation and for that you need to put in hours and hours of work practicing or working on multiple projects. And slowly you will be able to develop that eye or that thought process to recognize why certain animation look good but others don't and how to make something look even better. And tomorrow let's say all the animation tools are replaced by AI models, what do you think will happen? Can everybody get the same level of output? 
Most likely it's not because people who has the skill set can understand better and will be able to extract a better output from that AI model. And that is valid for all the other skill sets as well, be it graphic design, video editing or illustration. So I would suggest you to stay updated with the new AI tools and be curious about it and find ways to use those AI tools into your day-to-day -day work because we still don't know where this technological revolution will lead us to. And that's the end of this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So as always, stay curious, stay bold and always push your boundaries. Goodbye.